uh, as, you, as you've seen, it's such a beautiful show this morning, more so because we are celebrating the, or rather commemorating the Day of Reconciliation, uh, tackling the most important issue, that of uh, forgiveness and reconciliation. And we feel kind of bad that uh, we had left out SAPC2 viewers. But then in the spirit of reconciliation, we decided to bring back our SAPC2 viewers and to say, welcome back. Well, the fight against poaching can now be taken to a whole new level with Aro, a two-year-old German shepherd of, of uh, Rustenburg in the northwest, being able to skydive. Now, this skill has earned him a Guinness world record as the first anti-poaching dog to have performed a skydive. Nicolene Smallman reports. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. But Aro. Descending from the sky to curb poaching. He is a product of the Paramount Anti-Poaching and Canine Training Academy. He can track poachers and apprehend them on demand. Now, he can be transported to scenes in no time and dropped safely on terrain that would otherwise be difficult to reach with a vehicle or on foot. One of the biggest challenges in the fight against poaching is uh, the need to respond very quickly, you know, after there has been an attack on a rhino or, or an elephant. And we have found that the combination of using helicopters with um, a canine unit is very effective to provide us with a rapid response unit that can be deployed very quickly uh, before the scent um, of the poachers uh, diminished and also before they are actually able to, to cross the borders you know, into safety. Arrow's handler, Henry Holzhuizen, knew from the start that Arrow had what it takes to perform a skydive. As a young puppy, he was very full of confidence. Uh, he was always getting into trouble, uh, exploring new areas away from his little, little brothers and sisters. Um, and that is one of the, the uh, temperament uh, characteristics I'm looking for. And that is a dog that is full of energy, a dog that is not scared of anything. Uh, and that describes him you know, perfectly. Arrow is like a child to hold Tyson, who explains that if he sees his handler is comfortable with the situation by getting into an aircraft or performing a skydive, he follows without hesitation. The relationship between dog and handler is, is crucial in, in, in any uh, canine operations, but especially more so in dangerous things like repelling out of a helicopter or parachuting. So the bond has been established from a very young age. I've raised him as a puppy. We did everything together. He sleeps with me. Wherever I go, he goes with me. Holt Tyson admits that some people have raised concerns about Arrow possibly being scared. A lot of people think that it is um, cruel to animals to have a dog jump out of a helicopter. But they don't know Arrow. Arrow wants to work. He enjoys working. He enjoys flying. He enjoys what he's doing. And you can see that in his body language. Uh, whenever I take out his harness, he gets very excited because he's got a positive connection with what is to come. Also, once we're on the ground, he understands that there's work to be done. He's focused and he does the job at hand. If he was scared, he would not want to do the work. He performed his first dive in September. They say every dog has its day and Ara had his last week when Guinness confirmed that his name was added to a long list of impressive records. Nicolene Smallman, SABC News, Midrand in Johannesburg.